Ethel Buba on Maswari's threat of war over federalism, back at Hindi Seattle Makbosa Senato. National funny woman Ethel Buba had something to say after Moro National Liberation Front, MNLF, founding chair Nur Maswari threatened to declare war if the Philippine government fails to pursue federalism. Maswari's threat came during a meeting with President Rodrigo Duterte last March 19, their second and less than a month since the ratification of the Bang Zamoro Organic Law. As per Duterte, Maswari wants federalism so the Moros can reclaim the lands taken away from them by Spanish and American colonizers. At the last March 22 took to Twitter, her default platform when it comes to airing her sentiments, and asked in her usual comical self why Maswari won't just run for the Senate. Gusto Palani Maswari Namag Converteo sa Federalism A back at Hindi sa Atumakbosa Senado para makachilong sa asapag papaza nito at Hindi young mininakot siya. Charit. She said. Maswari wants us to convert to federalism, why won't he just run for the Senate so he can help in passing it into law instead of using threats? Some netizens called out Ethel following her tweet and told her not to make fun of the Moro's sufferings. Only through federalism can guarantee the fair share of funds and Sulu that's why they're rebelling they've been robbed off, one netizen, at high and Cisli do, said. Another told Ethel she has not experienced being robbed off of her ancestry. You. Weren't placed in their position, nor experienced being prejudiced, robbed off since the beginning of your family ancestry, another netizen, at Hidemroffer, said. Masakat Yan Pagganyan Angtingjan, Nayo, sa struggle Nila, it hurts if that is the way you look at their struggle. Ethel, meanwhile, has since replied to the netizens and emphasized that Miswari is threatening a war. Their group are threatening a war if our constitution will not change into federalism, Ethel replied. So, who do you think are making fun of our government? Charit. She also clarified if Miswari wants the Philippines to shift to federalism, then he must do so in the proper channels. If you read my tweet carefully Malalim and Mong Sinasabi ko a if he wants us to change into federalism iti i don sitamang but is, she said. If you read my tweet carefully you will know what I said was if he wants us to change into federalism then it should be done according to the law. May process yen handy pwed to kudun teo ang jaira, she added. Hindi gaya anayin but as yang na kapag bumail pak mobilism bublik sa daddy. Charit. There is a process, you can't just threaten to go to war. This isn't like any other law that you can revert if it fails. Charit. Senators have since frowned on Miswari following his threat to go to war. Senate President Vicente Sato III wondered if there is a law against threatening the government, while Senate Minority Leader Franklin Drillon also hoped Miswari does not violate any laws by inciting to sedition and rebellion. Meanwhile, Duterte has said that he is in a hurry to forge a deal with Miswari. Here in Mindanao, we were also grappling with so many fronts. I am dealing with the drug problem and at the same time, I am in a hurry to strike a deal with Nurmiswari, said Duterte during a campaign rally speech of the Partido Democratico Pilipino Lakazin Bayan, PDP Laban, on March 26. 
Miswari is currently on trial at the Sandigan Bayan for two counts of graft and two counts of malversation through falsification of public documents. He is also facing rebellion charges for the Zambunga siege in 2013.